A few seconds before the aiming smoke fades, Xander places his star beam main and sucks the Killjoy turret. What? Version 1 is one of the best teams in NA. In this video, I'm going to break down 4 rounds from their Ascent Games vs Knights. Each round is going to have its own theme and takeaway. I'm super excited, let's get into it. The barriers drop and version 1 takes a main control with their KO knife and one-way smoke. This lets Penny walk up into an off angle which eventually results in a kill on Scuba. Knights are down a player and they have no info towards the A side of the map so they want to make something happen fast before V1 rotates or flanks. Knights walk up mid, they want to do a market heavy B split. But look at version 1's setup. Whippy has a turret on switch. This turret not only sees into B main, but it also sees into mid. And because it's positioned a bit further back, it actually takes first contact and market allowing Effies to peek off the turret. Like, that's so good. Also, look at the mollies and alarm bot setup. This setup prevents the enemies that are coming out of B main from scaling towards switch. In other words, if knights were to do a B split, the B main players wouldn't be able to pinch Effies who's fighting alone in market. This allows Effies to focus entirely on the mid push. Let's see how this plays out. Turret takes contact, Effie peeks, but he doesn't get anything so he quietly tucks back. Notice that the moment the turret took contact, Zelsus started rotating from cat to help. Now Effies is fighting for his life and Zelsus chucks a flash. Pop! Knights are blinded and V1 mows down the mid players. Frosty gets KO knifed and eventually gets taken down. The solid setup, the teamwork in mid, I'm just so impressed. It's round 14, version 1 just went pistol, so they full bot while knights are on a save. V1 know that teams like to get aggressive on their save rounds, so they open with a passive default. This way, they'll be able to punish any knights aggression by either fighting together, or using that info to make the best macro decision. They have 3 towards B and 2 top mid. Xander is jiggling tiles, not even mid. He doesn't want to risk peeking into 5 enemies. Plus, Whippy's turret at B lobby can see if any players push up mid. So, Xander is looking to peek off the turret. Meanwhile, Zelsus is holding A main alone. Notice that he's in the most dangerous position as default since Xander is basically hiding and playing off the turret and the V1 players B lobby are grouped up and playing off each other. Because of this, Zelsus is the only one on the team with a bulldog. It's more expensive than a Spectre, but it's a lot better at taking mid to long range fights which helps him tremendously with his role in the default. Here's the highlight though, look at the setup in B lobby. This triangle illuminati formation is actually so so good. Effies is holding B main, Whippy is holding tiles, and Penny is holding one of the two. Here's how the setup completely destroys any B main or mid pushes. If the enemies push B main, Effies takes first contact from an off angle, meaning he has an advantage in his fight and Whippy can peek B main off of him. Meanwhile, Penny can choose to either fight if the enemies are out B main or hold tiles for a potential late mid push. If the enemies push mid and into tiles, Whippy will take first contact from his off angle and Penny can peek off of him, while Effies can choose to either keep holding for a late B main push or join the fight tiles. This setup is designed so that when one person takes contact, another person can always peek off of them and then the third person has a choice to either join the fight or hold what the other two players aren't looking at. It's such a well thought out setup. Time passes and V1 realizes that knights aren't pushing anything. Zelsa's KO knife saying mate and actually scans Sage and Jet. In V1's mind, they're thinking, wait, no one broke the knife in A main, that means Jet and Sage are both playing close to the wall towards sight. And there's no way they'll be playing out in the open because they would get completely destroyed if V1 were to do a cat split, so there must be a player holding cat for them. That means there are at least 3 players A right now. Knowing this, version 1 makes a call to regroup B for a B hit. V1 aren't taking any chances, so they sow a drone into B main to clear all the close angles. Then they explode on the site. They jet dash in, close the market doors, they molly CT, shock stairs. They recon back site because players like to rat there with shorties on save rounds and they find a kill. Super solid execute. They then find 2 kills by spamming through a smoke and then they hunt down the rest of knights. That round displayed an incredibly solid default into an incredibly solid B execute. That is how you make sure you never get thrifted. Version 1 starts with 4A main and a killjoy lurking tiles. Meanwhile, on Knight's End, Scuba and Ziff are positioned to fight for A main. Both teams want A main control. The barriers drop and Zelsus throws his knife and flashes through the smoke. Xander pops his Asher suck and Penny jumps down to take the fight. The KO knife scans both Scuba and Ziff. Knights also invested a Sage Slow, an Asher suck, and an Asher smoke right off the start. With all that info, V1's confident that there's someone in wine. Penny smokes wine to block off Scuba's line of sight. Ziff actually slows the choke, preventing Scuba, his poor teammate, from retreating. And V1 just throw the kitchen sink into wine. They tear through the wall and take down Scuba. All that noise they main drew rotates from Ban and Gangsta. And V1 knows that too, so V1 cuts noise. This way, knights have no idea whether V1 rotated out or are still in a main. 
Now look at this brilliance. After cutting noise, V1 smokes Cat and then recons mid. Then they silently regroup back A main. Imagine if you're in Knight's shoes. V1 just showed four players A main, then they cut noise. Then you see a Cat smoke plus a silver recon mid. Like that is screaming, hey, we're taking mid control right now. We could be split off of that. Plus, V1 also has a Killjoy turret watching the B main push, so they know that knights don't have any info into B lobby. V1's utility usage will usually draw rotate towards mid, or at least draw rotates towards cat and away from A and A main. Unfortunately, knights didn't have a cat player to see the smoke, so they didn't get the full effect of the misdirection. Also, V1 didn't know that knights had an alarm bot deep mid, so that's why knights were comfortable staying on A. But regardless, these are the types of calls the top IGLs are making. This is how the best teams use misdirection to manipulate enemy rotations. So even though it didn't work this time, you can see the thought process behind it. Oh, and V1's A execute was also super solid. They drone out to clear anyone posted on A main, Zelsus throws his knife, which scans and suppresses all of sight in heaven. Penny dashes forward, and Zelsus flashes high to blind the players on sight. They are prepared potentially to handle it. Oh, but Pan already falls, look at that Ziff does as well, the defenses that they had. It's a 4v2 now, look at V1's post plane positioning. All three members of V1 on site are playing close and right under heaven. They're taking this heaven fight together, no one's baiting each other, and they're making a lot of noise to draw attention away from Whippy who's on the flank. V1 annihilated knights, and they were on their bonus round. Version 1 starts with a heavy alien default. They have a killjoy turret watching the B main and mid push. The player's top mid are peeking off of the killjoy turret since that's a lot safer than taking the dry fight. And the player's gelato are posted A main because they can use the knight's one way smoke to their advantage since one way smokes favor the player that's further away from the smoke. These details may seem small, but this is how V1 ensures that they have an advantage in every single fight they take. A few seconds before the aiming smoke fades, Xander places a star B main and sucks the Killjoy turret. What? Like that is insane. I've never seen that before. Oh my god. Like imagine if you're in gangsta shoes. You're chilling lane with a shock dart out, ready to shock off the turret's contact. You're feeling really safe because you'll know if the attackers are in B main early on because of the turret. But then the enemy suck the turret so it loses line of sight into B main. Monka S. Like there could be 5 enemies walking into B main and ready to explode out of the choke for all he knows. So if you're in gangsta's position, you're absolutely shitting your pants right now. That's definitely going to draw a rotate from an A player. But meanwhile, version 1 is grouped up A lobby ready to hit A. That is such an insane and creative use of misdirection. Knights didn't move though because they're already stacked towards B side. So version 1 still got what they wanted. The one way smoke fades and V1 starts walking up. Scuba's jiggling A main for aggressive info and he doesn't really feel safe dry jiggling so he puts up another one way smoke. This stops V1 in their tracks. So they KO knight for info and scans only scuba. While all that was happening, Gangsta drones B main for mid round info. I mean his Killjoy turret just got sucked, he's terrified and he wants to figure out what in the world version 1 is up to. His drone clears B main. And look at this, Whippy recalls his turret in the drone's line of sight. So Gangsta is thinking, okay B main is completely clear, Whippy just took back his Killjoy turret and V1 just KO knifed A main. It's looking like it's going to be an A hit. So he leaves B and rotates to A. Little did he know, Whippy was sitting in tiles, listening in. Whippy knows that Gangsta's drone just cleared B main and that the drone saw him recalling his turret. He's relaying all this info to his team, so version 1 makes the call to regroup B for a B hit. As a cherry on top, V1 also heard Ziff sage while cat while they're in A main. A sage while cat means all of Knight's A players will be focused on the A main choke. So this further reinforces V1's decision to end B. Look at the map, V1 is about to execute B and there are 3 knights player on the other side of the map. V1 is absolutely out macroing knights right now. They silva join into B main, V1 don't want to risk randomly dying to any BS. They KO knife stairs and switch and it suppresses killjoy. They flash out, Penny dashes out looking right since her KO knife already cleared everything on the left and spots Ban and Logs, who gets mollied out and killed. Then they pinch Frosty who stuck stairs and take the B site. It's 5v3, version 1 puts up their astral wall to delay the knight's retake. Knights don't have any flashes to go through the wall so they decide to save. That was a brilliant macro round by version 1. It was all thanks to Whippy lurking tiles, listening and conveying information to his team, plus a dash of creativity to displace Frosty's killjoy turret with an Asher suck. 